Ah, excellent timing. We've just finished our work on the Enterprise. She's so much improved, I've decided to give her a new name to suit. The Enterprise Excelsior. Or simply the Excelsior, if pressed for time. Once again, she'll carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I can do no more than see you off with prayers for your safety and success. Yet know that wheresoever you may go, my son's spirit goes with you. May the fury grant you strength. Return to us, all of you. Enterprise Excelsior, engage. Chief, we've got an Imperial battleship on our tail, and it's bleeding massive. Damn it! The bastards were waiting for us to open the door for them. I'm gonna try to shake them. Hang on to something. Ooh, we're all going to die! Tataru! Shh! 
She won't take much more of this! The time is come to use Heidlin's gift. Much blood has been spilled in my name. And for what? For a false cause that I created for want of the warmth of companionship. Saint Shiva, pray Svelga. Pray forgive this fool. But even now, I cannot let go of my dream. My dream of a tomorrow in which no child need freeze alone in the snow. Farewell, warrior of light, and thank you for showing me the way.
This ether, it was a crystal of light. She too was one of Heidelin's chosen. Mm, and scar, ooh, ooh. 
Warrior of Light, beloved daughter, the light abideth within thy heart again. Full valiantly didst thou overcome thy many trials, but glory not in thy success. For the servants of darkness are ever close at hand. Receive of me my blessing once more. And go forth to shine thy light on all creation. down the wall I built around thee, and partaken of thy mistress's blessing once more. Strong art thou, mortal, stronger than any other of thy kind. Having looked upon thy deeds, I am convinced thou art worthy to bear her light. Covenant bound me to thee, but would seem our fates were mingled from the first. Though I will not fight thy battles, I will yet lend thee my wings. The champion of Hydaelyn. Tell me, why do you despise the primals so? They are the embodiment of mortal will, of mortal desire. Plainly, you desire a foe to despise, and tis well that you do, for it is from the vortex of ceaseless conflict that Lord Zodiac shall be reborn. Through the joining, the world shall become whole again. Then all shall be as once it was, as it should ever have remained. For the glory of Lord Zodiac. Your meddling ends here and now, warrior of light.
consume light. Defies all reason. No, I will not be bested by the likes of them. La Habrea, it is time. Very well. Let us show these mortals the true power of the Echo. The power to break down the barriers of existence.
that she might regain the blessing of light I had foreseen. But she has grown so strong in it as to deny us our power. Let us withdraw, La Habrea. That power remains to us, at least. So, you harness the eye's power. A pity you spent it all. What will you do now, hero? So, not even the vaunted warrior of light can unmake an Atsian without relying upon mortal contrivances. In the distant past, King Thorden and his knights twelve fought and defeated Nidhogg. Though the victory cost them dear, they were rewarded with a great prize, the Dread Worm's Eyes, both of which have since been held in the Holy See's safekeeping. The eye you possess was Nidhogg's left and long has it served as the source of the Azure Dragoon's might. As for its twin... It has lain here joined to the person of Haldreth, the first Azure Dragoon. For though he learned to harness its power, he was ultimately consumed by it. Even in death, his body decays not. A pitiful end for a fabled hero. My Asian friend, long have you and your kind sown the seeds of chaos by teaching mortals the secrets of summoning. But if you assumed that we would meekly serve as your pawns, then you are gravely mistaken. You would raise a hand against us. By taking unto my flesh the soul of the legendary King Thorden, I am become a god. cessation, whose being is sustained by a millennium of fervent prayer, and the eyes nigh bottomless reservoir of ether. 
What? Your contempt for man has proven your undoing, Asian. For my first act as God King, I do hereby sentence you to die!
How? How can this be? A millennium of prayer and the eye's power combined? And still you stand? It is over then. I had hoped that mine would be the hand to end it. But knowing you, there was little chance of that. It would seem the eye has served you well. of man and dragon both. With this task accomplished, my toil shall finally be at an end.
Over there! Oi! Ha-ha! <laughs> Gods damn it! Do you always have to cut it so bloody close? It would seem she has done it again. Was there ever any doubt? Let us return to Ishgard. Our friends will be eager to learn the battle's outcome and welcome back their champion. Justinian. I dare say you are the first soul in Ishgardian history to arrive in our city upon Dragonback. This scene shall be remembered for a thousand years to come. As we had feared, the Archbishop summoned the soul of King Thorden into himself, and thence became a primal. But he and his knights are no more. Thanks to the warrior of light. Our struggles are not yet over, mortals. Uh, whom do I have the pleasure? I am Midgard Sormer. I have journeyed with Heidelin's champion and observed her deeds in the conflict between man and dragon. Tell me, children of Thordon, do you desire peace? My people have committed unspeakable atrocities against dragonkind, even against our own. Would that we could undo these wrongs, but we cannot. Be that as it may, the future yet presents a chance to begin anew. Our nation has broken free of the shackles of a false faith, and Nidhogg shall lead his kindred against us no more. I doubt not that it will require much effort and perseverance, but is my belief that in time, Ishgard will again become a place where man and dragon may abide together in harmony. I shall remember thy words. Yet be warned, Nidhogg's soul liveth on. His unbridled rage hath claimed for its vessel the one thou callest the Azure Dragoon. Astinian. Doubt not but that Nidhogg will call out to his brood ere long, nor that they shall answer him. Steal yourselves, for the true test is yet to come. Come what may, we will never cease to believe. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. A thousand year war cannot be ended in a day. It may take generations. What thou dost begin, 
Thy children must continue. Entrust unto them thy hopes and dreams, that peace may reign again and forevermore. I do hereby declare that from this day forth the Holy See of Ishgard shall once more be counted a member of the Eorzean Alliance. Let our nations move forward as one and stand united against the Galian Empire. For the future of Eorzea. For the future of Eorzea! soul. From here, Lord Orshafon can watch over all of Ishgard. It has been a long and arduous journey, and we have lost much and more along the way. Yet come what may, we must stay true to our purpose and press on. <laughs> That's right, you two! It's high time we got back to rebuilding the Scions. Which means we're going to need money! And lots of it! So ends a glorious chapter in their tale. However, tumultuous days yet lie ahead for Ishgard. After a thousand years under the yoke of the church, 
the people take their first tentative steps into the unknown. And though they spy a glimmer of peace upon the horizon, Nidhogg's vengeful shadow yet remains to darken the way. Be that as it may, So long as the young commander of the Temple Knights and his heroic companions are there to guide them, the people may hold fast to hope. The hope that one day, true peace will return to Ishgard, and that man and dragon may live in harmony once more. Let the deeds writ herein never be forgot that they may inspire generations yet unborn to strive ever heavensward. So Laha Brea and Igayorn have fallen, bested by mortals in their attempt to initiate the Eighth Rejoining that they should be so complacent. And now it falls to me to deal with the consequences. Without intervention, the balance between light and darkness will begin to shift, placing our mission in jeopardy. Hydaelyn's champion has grown too strong. Her might encroaches upon the realm of gods. Equilibrium must needs be restored. The time has come for you and yours to join the fray. Warrior of Darkness. Remind me, why is there no rest for the righteous? Because they care, Master Garland. things they could have picked to play with. That's not a toy, you bloody fools, it's a primal! <laughs> 